Paul, um, who is this charming man with you? Uh -huh. Showing off her pop knowledge once again, dear Tony. This is Morrissey, <laughs> lead singer of The Smiths, known for their hit last year, This Charming Man, and more recently for a more successful one called What Difference Does It Make? Well, it is actually a matter of principle for the group that there are no videos, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, it's a, it's a com complete matter of principle. It, it, it's very important to our, our standpoint as um, artists that we don't. Groups seem to be hiding behind lots of um, props and, and pantomime, and um, The Smiths don't. It's just very real people saying very real things in a very real and, and quite fundamental way. And I always find that the, the strongest way to say something it is in a very oh, basic way, and, and very forthright and, uh, way. And certainly, sorry, but could I just ask a question? Well, it, it's very important to our, our standpoint as um, artists that we don't do it. I, suppose I, agree with I that think we'd really, really like to really initiate a complete collapse of the video uh, because I really believe that it has nothing whatsoever to do with music. I think it's pantomime, I think it's trivial. And I really believe that the record itself should be all the prop as the word that one should make. I'm not going to give you a long time ago, Do not condone a video as an entertainment vehicle. Yes, but certainly quite separate from popular music. It detracts from what is supposed to be... Isn't there also the chance that the video makes the definitive version and people will in fact not want to copy it unless they're doing all the things on the video and sort of learn it themselves rather than copy? Um, I don't know. Yes, I think would have been a good answer there, yes. Well, I'm just thinking what Morrissey was saying about the down-to-earth nature of the group. The name is a perfect example, isn't it? Yes, it really had to be as basic as humanly possible. So, I mean, Smith, I don't want that to sound derogatory or anything, but Smith, I also find the name intensely appealing. You know, it's the most popular name in the universe, so nearly. <laughs> Outside of a couple of Chinese ones, yes. which wouldn't have gone down too well in this market. Mm, I don't know. Well, you started with a small label, and mm. you've stayed with Rough Trade Records, yes. despite, I'm sure, possible offers from mm. other yeah. larger companies. Now, why have you done that when possibly you might have sold more records otherwise? Well, I really don't think we've done that badly with Rough Trade Hit Records and be noticed uh, on our own steam on our own terms and on our own merit than um, be hyped. I mean, it doesn't always happen, but uh, in many instances it does.